everyone! First of all, let me kick off this video by saying Happy New Year! It's finally 2020, which means a new decade and a new chance for us to open up many, many more figures. So let's get straight in and have a look at today's Okiku figures! Woo! I wonder if I can do some special effect thing here. <laughs> Okiku figures! Today we actually have two figures to open. I wanted to start off with a nice special kind of video. So we're going to be opening up the yellow one and the white one together. So we're going to try and compare them and see what's different, what's similar, and get them up on the shelves. So let's get straight into it. So as always, let's kick things off by having a look at the box. Today, we'll put these together and we'll have a look as a pair. So as you can see on the left, Okiku is wearing a white kimono here with a brown and black orbi. And over here, she's wearing a yellow kimono with a pink and purple orbi. So yeah, there are two different colors for this one. We have uh, the yellow and the white. I can't remember which one is the original. Hopefully we will find that out in a little bit. But down here we have One Piece Glitter and Glamour's Okiku, and then the same over here. It's a beautiful picture there. On the side, we also have... Oh, this is really hard to do. <laughs> we have One Piece Glimmer and Glamour's Okiku, uh, kind of going into the background there. We have our two versions here, we have the A and the B. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so in the anime, yeah, she wears the yellow uh, outfit there, so the white one is the special version here. So, ooh, very pretty. But down here we have Intricate Female Charm from top to bottom. I mean, that's pretty poetic. That's kind of cool. Um, same thing over here. We also have our Bandai Spirits logo here and here. Again, this is just showing the location of their HQ. And I love this wonderful pattern that we've got going in the background here. This is just very, very pretty. I do like this flowery pattern at the back. We're going to have to put these down and turn them over this way now because we also have like a shot from them at the front, uh, kind of like in a frame. We have Glimmer and Glamour's Okiku on the left there. Uh, I should also point out up there, there is the animation 20th anniversary for One Piece, a uh, Banpresto logo, and it's the same one over here. We also have One Piece Glitter and Glamour's, uh, what does that say, Zen to Shu. And then moving down to here, uh, I'll show you on this one because it's a little bit better. We have One Piece Glitter and Glamour's Okiku with some not so good English. This is a large figure tool, and of high quality moulding showing great attention to detail. From the glossy lips and nails to the slightly wrinkled clothing and flowing hair. This is a large figure tool. Maybe they should get some native checks on these. But anyway, anyway, that is this side over here. And we want to turn it over to the back. Which side are we not looked at? Oh, this one, there we go. <laughs> God, there's so many different sides. Here we have a few different poses of the Okiku figure. Um, as you can see, we have her facing forward in the middle. Uh, she's also facing forward on the side over here, and then from a different angle, and then just from behind on her obi here, which is kind of cool. Um, again, a lot of English. Feel free to have a look at that yourself. Um, but again, very pretty. And then on the bottom here, we have our information. So yeah, one piece glitter. I keep repeating it. I don't need to repeat it. A few QR codes there for you to check yourselves. Some safety information, uh, a lot of points there. Same old stuff over here. And then on the top, we just have our pretty flower patterns, um, which again, very, very pretty, with our Glitter and Glamour's Okiku logo there. We do also have our Jaya Prose logo and our Toei Animation logo there, so that's also pretty cool. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to open these, so let's open one by one and take a look. Bear with me one second. So we'll start off with the yellow one. Um, again, I believe this is just a few pieces of tape. Yeah, I was able to get these online quite cheap, and they came as a set, which was nice. And um, you know what, let's get the tape done over here too. Actually, it's six pieces of tape. <gasps> Ooh, very, very different. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. What a great start to the new year, eh? <laughs> Alright, let's open this one up over here. And we'll just try and get this white bit open over here. Um, oh, more tape. Okay. I'm guessing that's the same for this one over here too. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Let's see if we can pull this whole thing out. This one's the white one. Over there. This one's the yellow one. 
here. Alright, need to get that knife back out. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, right, let's start, uh, 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 this one. Let's go over here. Alright, get rid of this. And, let's see what happens here. My goodness, there is a lot of tape here. Get rid of that. Okay, so here we have... Sorry, it's off camera because I can't get the tape off the box. Wow, what an awkward thing this is. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so much better. Um, holy shit, that's a lot of tall pieces. Whoa, that's big. I mean, she is called big. So, good lord. Okay, this is the piece of tape that was stuck that I couldn't get off. So, I'll see if I can show you that on this one. Let's open this up here. Okie dokie. So, unfold that there. So, this was the piece of tape I had a bit of trouble with. I didn't realise I had to cut this. And now that it comes off like that. If we undo here, we should take it all out nicely. Okay, my goodness, this is going to take a bit of time to put together. Okay, so, give me one second. Okay, so after a little preparation, we have finally got somewhere to go with for this. So I've already put one of them together because I wanted to see how it went together and to kind of give you a look at the whole figure itself in one piece. It's very, very big. I mean, this is very tall. But I'm going to put this down because I want to show you how the Okiku figure goes together. We're using yellow because yellow is my favourite colour and also it is Okiku's original colour. So let's go with this. So as you can see, we have two very simple pieces to put together here. Um, these will slide in like this. A um, bit of a hard push here, so it's quite tough to get into there. But that's in. Then, she also has this hair piece, which goes into the top hole up here. You can see that there's a tiny little hole there. Um, a lot of people have trouble getting these things in. I recommend just giving it a little bit of a squeeze. And then it should go in nicely. Um, with all figures, even the Miku figures, that's a good way to do it. We also have our sword, and this was the hardest thing to get in, because you have to put the sword under here, lift up this hand, put it in like this, and then here, this has to be like that. Oh, what a pain in the backside. So you can see one hand's above the hilt here, uh, the stopper, sorry, here, and then you have the other hand here on the actual sheath, so yeah, pretty tough. And then we have the stand. And this stand is just to hold on one foot, so that when she's standing up, she has a little bit of support. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's get into looking at this figure. Okay, so first let's have a look at her face. And as you can see, she has this very innocent look about her. Very deceptive, Okiku, very deceptive. She has these beautiful blue eyes looking off in one direction. Her nose sticks out a fair bit, actually. It's very, very sharp and very, very pointy. And she has this beautiful lipstick on. Her mouth is also kind of indented too, so that's a wonderful addition there. Nice feature. Her face is actually quite small compared to the rest of her body. This is huge. I mean, it's like 26 centimeters. We'll probably measure it in a second, but it's just massive. So her face is a tiny, tiny feature on this whole thing. Her hair is a little bit flimsy with these two little strands coming off down the sides, but her bangs cover all the way up to the top of her eyes. Camera, focus, come on, you can do this. Bear with me one second. There we go, that's better. But I have to set the focus on it today. <laughs> okay, but her bangs here are very, very flat around the end of the forehead here. There are a few strands coming down, uh, which is kind of cool. We can't move these about, so they are stuck to the head. Uh, her hair does come back into one nice big top knot over here. And this comes down into many beautiful strands. And these are very, very pretty. They do feel a tiny bit flimsy, which is not a big issue, but they do look very nice, so that's always good. And her hair is just tied back with a small red ribbon at the back, so very pretty. So that's her face. And moving down her body, as you can see, she is wearing one very, very big yellow kimono. This is very, very pretty. You can actually see here that she's also got her undergarments here, which are covering there, um, and then her kimono comes folded over at the front. What I like especially about this figure is it has these beautiful little circle patterns all over. Um, if we go down a little bit, there's a few here. These are actually indented into the plastic. 
um, and it just adds a whole new level of texture. It's kind of cool actually. It does have a lot of nice folds all over, um, especially on her sleeves here. Of course these are being held back by this white strap going at the back here. Um, with a little bow at the side here. This is, must be where it's tied for one piece, well, one big string. I'll be really honest, wearing a kimono is pretty tough. Uh, last year I actually entered a kimono competition. And this hanging down bit here really does hang down. It's so in the way when you're trying to do stuff. So this here must be holding back these little hanging down bits so that she can easily pull out her sword for battle. So I can understand why this is here. Took me a little while to get there. <laughs> Um, but also, on this dress you can dress, on this kimono, you can see that she has these beautiful patterns here that we've seen on the box. Um, these are at the ends of her sleeves, and this is also down the kimono at the bottom. So, very, very pretty. She's also wearing this purple, pink and creamy yellow orbi. This is very nicely detailed, hopefully the camera will pick it up with a nice red sash there. And when we look at the back, we have this beautiful bow here. This actually looks like some rhubarb and custard kind of sweet. Um, some kind of taffy, and yeah, I don't think you can eat that. You wouldn't get very far. <laughs> it's a very, very colourful pattern. A bit too colourful, I feel. Um, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, it just seems super, super over the top. Um, but it's cute, it's cute. Of course it's cute, it's lovely. Um, so yeah, that's her Orbi. And then having a quick look at her sword, as you can see there's a lovely pattern here on the handle with a nice gold stopper at the end. Here we also have a wonderful detailed kind of uh, stopper here. I can never remember what this is called, so apologies for that. But the, she the sheath for the sword is a very glossy orange colour. Again this has a nice gold bit at the end here too. And underneath there is this green little piece of string here. So this must be what she's tied to the sword sheath itself. And it just adds a nice little level of detail here as if she's getting ready to fight. So it's very, very pretty. And finally, moving down to her feet. As you can see, she has these white socks on. Come on camera, focus. There we go. Which you can see the big toe and the rest of her toes have been split so that she can actually have her getter on her feet. We have this beautiful red strap coming all the way down to the middle, holding in between her toes. And then there's this nice glossy black pattern at the bottom. Very, very pretty. And it's nice and shiny. I do like that kind of contrast with the rest of the matte look for this figure. So yeah, very pretty, very pretty. And again, going back to these folds, it's just so impressive how much detail has actually gone into making the material look very natural. There's some beautiful folds here as if like these have fallen down a tiny bit. Even at the back here, there is a fold here where her leg, actually this one is bent back just a little bit, so that also looks very natural. It's just very, very well thought out. And yeah, I'm quite impressed. Ah, oh, very, very nice. I just realized something. She's not just wearing a kimono. She's actually wearing a top half here, which is her haori. The haori goes above the kimono. So you can see that actually this goes all the way around. So she's actually wearing a few separate pieces here. This is the top piece for the haori, and then the underneath is the kimono itself. Oh, wow. But anyway, this is a double figure opening, so we should actually take a quick look at the white special figure over here. And again, when we put them side by side, they are just basically the exact same thing. The folds are in the exact same places. This one is a little bit shinier, which is a little bit different. The obi has a very different colour. Instead of this pink, we have this green, yellow and brown colour. This feels a little bit more realistic in terms of colour. This one just seems extremely over the top. Um, on the back, again, we have the similar kind of obi pattern here. Um, again, looks like a less tasty piece of taffy. <laughs> the sword has the exact same colour uh, colouring with the uh, kind of like little ribbon here at the end. Her hair is the same. Yeah, basically the same thing. So some of you are probably wondering, how do these stands work? Well, let me quickly show you, and we'll use the white figure because we haven't actually had a look at her yet. This little stand here is just a little block um, made of some very rubbery plastic. Um, there is absolutely no detail to this. Actually, it looks really rough edged, uh, kind of in the middle there. Maybe you can see that. But this goes into the middle foot here as a support. And then when we put the figure down, it should stand on its own. That's very wobbly. Whoa! Okay, how about now? Is that better? Okay. Okay! 
That is not very good at all. These are supposed to be holding the figures standing up without falling over. Now, as you know, this is pretty tall. Um, we'll just quickly get a tape measure to it because I want to have a quick look. Um, sorry for holding you by the head. Let's go down. Du -du 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 -du. Probably not the best way to do this. So as you can see, she's pretty tall. She comes in at about 25 centimeters. So yeah, pretty large. Uh, get rid of this. So yeah, rather, rather big. But that tiny little stand is a terrible thing for something that is very top heavy. Japan has a lot of earthquakes, and this is probably going to be the first figure to fall <laughs> if there's another earthquake, so I don't really want that to happen. But anyway, I am complaining now, and I don't want to complain. <laughs> I think all the trains going past is kind of stressful, but anyway, enough excuses. Let's have a few pretty shots at this figure. Let's take a look. Okay, and let's go for a very, very quick walk. So unfortunately, I do not have three hands, I only have two, so I can only move these in small amounts. But let's see if we can do a tiny little bit of editing magic. Okay, there we go, they are both now here. And what a nightmare it was to get on there. Although they take very little space on their feet, the swords actually push everything out of the way, so what a pain in the ass. But there you go, these figures are very, very pretty, and we got them quite cheap online. For the set, I think we paid about 20 bucks, so yeah, it was quite a steal. <laughs> but thanks again everyone for tuning in to the first figure opening for this year. Love you all, and I will see you in the next figure opening coming very, very soon. Okay, bye!